Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking with Cass. I got this beautiful whole palm fred, so I'm going to turn this into a Kerala specialty dish. So it's going to be fish for each other. First, I'm going to marinate the fish with some spices and then shallow fry the fish and cook the fish in an amazing onion, tomato, coconut gravy, and then wrap it in a banana leaf and steam cook it. It's going to be a very special dish, so guys, let's get started. For making this dish, I'll be using whole gold golden palm fret so this was frozen I have defrosted it so I'm keeping it in some water so next I'm going to remove all the internal organs um, so it has to be defrosted well so I'm making a slit on the side and then pulling uh, the internal organs out of it um, it will be pretty easy to uh, take it out just pull the internal organs or any tissues uh, from the inside next I'm removing the gills as well so gently open the head and um, remove the gills if it is tough um, you can make a cut with a sharp knife i have removed all the internal organs and the gills next i'm adding some salt and uh, going to rinse it uh, thoroughly under running water so for making this dish we have to use whole fish um, i love palm fret it's a very tasty fish uh, you can either use um, palm fret or whole sardine whole red snapper tilapia now if you cannot find whole fish um, you can also use uh, salmon steak or kingfish steak all right so let's um, clean this thoroughly inside and outside under running water so this is a really large palm fret. So next, um, using a sharp knife, I'm going to put some lines over the flesh on both the sides. Let's make a simple homemade marinade to a bowl, adding one tablespoon Kashmiri chili powder. Kashmiri chili powder is very mild and has a vibrant red color. Also adding one teaspoon regular chili powder, which is really hot. So next adding half teaspoon ground black pepper, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon coriander powder, two to three tablespoon freshly squeezed lemon juice. Next adding two teaspoon salt, adding like two to three tablespoon water and let's make into a smooth thick paste don't make into a watery paste so mix it well so here's our simple homemade marinade next let's spread the marinade all over the whole fish or palm fret so this is such a beautiful looking fish and it's very tasty as well so don't forget to put lines over the flesh that way the marinade and the spices will get into the fish so rub it all over the fish uh, both the sides let the fish marinate for 15 minutes to 30 minutes that's all we don't have to marinate any longer next let's fry the fish so i'm doing outdoor cooking i'm using the burner on my outdoor grill so place a pan over medium heat so let the pan turn hot I'm in my backyard. It's such a beautiful, gorgeous day, perfect day for outdoor cooking. So whenever I cook fish, I always use the burner on my outdoor grill and it's so much fun doing outdoor cooking. And it's not a windy or breezy day, so it's perfect. Everything is great and look at all my uh, garden. Everything is in full bloom. Um, all the flowers, cornflowers, daylilies, um, and uh, daisies, petunias, so beautiful, vibrant, colorful. So the pan has turned hot, going to add some coconut oil. I'm going to add a half cup coconut oil. You can add any oil of your choice. Um, usually for Kerala cooking uh, fish dishes, we add coconut oil. Here is the well marinated whole palm fret. Uh, so next let's place it over the oil and let's um, fry this. I'm not going to deep fry, going to shallow fry till both the sides have turned golden brown. Going to add some curry leaves. So this will make the oil really aromatic. So let the bottom side turn golden and then I'm going to flip it over. Let the other side uh, cook as well. This is a huge fish, so I'm flipping this over a few times to ensure both the sides have cooked well. So be very gentle and careful while flipping the whole fish. Mm -hmm. 
this is done i'm going to remove the pan from the heat and then take the fish out of the oil and place it on a plate so place the fish on a plate lined with paper towel so it will absorb any excess oil Keep the fried fish aside and keep it covered. Next, let's make a delicious gravy. Place a pan over medium heat and next I'm going to add the oil that was used for frying the fish. So this oil has lots of uh, flavor. So adding around four tablespoon coconut oil. So just the clear oil, do not add any of the particles. Adding one tablespoon crushed fresh ginger and one tablespoon crushed garlic. So I crushed it in a mortar and pestle. Also adding some curry leaves and two green chilies. This is a really hot green chili. If you want this to be really spicy, you can add like three to four green chilies. Saute for two minutes till everything gets aromatic and turns light golden in color. Ginger, garlic, green chilies and curry leaves getting roasted in coconut oil. The aroma is just amazing. So next I'm going to add shallots, thinly sliced. I've taken four big shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can add uh, pearl onions or small onions. You have to uh, take around 10 pearl onions or small onions. Uh, those are really small. Season the shallots with half teaspoon salt and let's saute this uh, for a few minutes till it turns light golden in color. So this is going to take a few minutes. So the shallots have turned golden brown in color and it smells really aromatic. So next let's add two large tomatoes chopped. Cook the tomatoes till they have mashed up uh, for a few minutes. After a few minutes of cooking, shallots and tomatoes have cooked perfectly and the shallots have turned slightly caramelized. That is good. Next, let's add a few spices, adding one teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder. Uh, so if you want this to be spicy, you can add the regular hot chili powder. Two teaspoon coriander powder. Half teaspoon garam masala. Next, I'm also going to add a tomato paste. So this is concentrated and packed with flavors. So adding like three tablespoon tomato paste. So this will greatly enhance the taste and flavor of the gravy and will impart a beautiful, nice, vibrant red color. So give everything a good, beautiful mix and cook for a couple of minutes. Finally, let's add a coconut milk, one cup. So this was really thick coconut milk. So I've added some water to thin it down. If you have thin coconut milk, just add one cup. So give it a good mix. Combine it with the onions and tomatoes and let it cook for a few minutes and let the gravy thicken. Here's our delicious and aromatic gravy. So the gravy has thickened, looks perfect. So give it a taste and if you need more salt, you can add salt at this point. So remove the pan from the heat and keep the gravy aside. Next, we have to wrap everything in banana leaves. So I'm going to work the banana leaves. So this was frozen banana leaf. Um, I have thawed it well, placed it on the countertop and rinsed it uh, thoroughly under running water. So show it over the flame and it will wilt. Um, if you don't wilt the banana leaf, it will break apart when we wrap it. So just uh, show it uh, over the flame. So that's it. So keep aside the banana leaves. So I'll be using like uh, four, five leaves. Here are the wilted banana leaves. So now it's uh, pretty sturdy. Uh, so I'm going to place a couple of leaves on a plate. Next, I'm going to spread half of the gravy on the banana leaf. So make into a bed. On the gravy bed, let's place the fried whole palm fret. Spread the remaining gravy over the whole fish. So spread it evenly over the fish. This is already looking great. So I have uh, evenly spread the gravy over the fish. So next, let's wrap the banana leaf. I'm going to place a couple of banana leaves over the fish. So cover the fish well. 
and then fold the ends of the banana leaves. Next, we have to steam cook this. So I've uh, taken a large pan. So I'm going to add one cup water to the pan and then I'm going to place a trivet or a stand over the water. And let's place the fish wrapped in banana leaf over the stand. So I'm trying to fold the ends. I just make sure it's uh, covered well. If you cannot fold the ends, that's okay. So place the pan over medium heat and I have covered the pan with a large lid. So let's steam cook this for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to take the pan out of the heat. Let's place the wrapped fish on a platter. So I'm really excited to open this. So let's gently open the banana leaf. I cannot put into words the aroma that's coming out of this. So the aroma of the banana leaves, the delicious coconut gravy and the fish. It's just fabulous guys. So look at this, such a stunning dish. For a great presentation and for garnishing, I'm going to place some sliced onions, tomatoes and lemon wedges around the whole fish. It's time to serve. So using a sharp knife, I'm going to uh, half the fish. And then you can cut into two inch slice pieces. So place it on a plate. Also make sure to add some gravy on top of the fish. The gravy tastes absolutely delicious. I'm going to enjoy the fish along with the Kerala style patiris. So these are basically uh, rice flatbread made out of rice dough and I'm also pouring some coconut milk over the uh, patiris. So this, um, the fish along with the gravy patiris and coconut milk tastes really delicious. Here is the delicious and exquisite fish porlichada or fish wrapped in banana leaf and steam cooked. So this is a Kerala specialty dish and it's one of the most popular seafood dishes in Kerala, enjoyed by everyone. So guys, do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.